do I want more? I'm gonna eat this piece of chicken. No, nope. <laughs> I'm full. <laughs> I'm full. That's what I gotta do when I'm full. I need to freaking stop. <laughs> but I'll have that probably a couple more pieces of pizza later. And I'll finish my wings. Hmm. Could that be Candy taking the advice of a therapist, maybe, and stopping when she's full up? I don't know, but this is a Hungry Fat Chick video. Here she is uh, engulfed in a sea of marigold orange and crimson red pizza, fries, and wings. Doesn't look like much of a diet to someone just passing through her channel, but we're going to get in to all of that. Hello everyone, my name is Kidney J. The J stands for jerk because my kidneys are a pair of jerks. And yes, so in this Hungry Fat Chick video, we are going to talk about her finally finding a primary, primary care physician, as well as um, taking a little teeny tiny baby steps to actually go to the appointment, as well as in the comment section, she talks about being institutionalized which she talks about in her comment section and she talks about other things at the end of uh, this video which was called Buffalo Chicken Three Way at Big Daddy's Pizza Mukbang Eating. Please, if you could, I would appreciate it. If you could slice that subscribe button into eight even slices, appreciate it. Maybe dip those, uh, your fries into the like button and leave a comment down below. Love learning from you, love hearing from you, as well as I do have memberships, which go uh, a long way to help support my humble little channel. So first let's get into Candy at the end of this video, talking about uh, getting a primary care provider and uh, we're gonna dip into the comment section as well. <laughs> Ooh, vanilla milkshake. Mm. Mm. Oh man. Oh. Yes, I also forgot she ordered a McDonald's milkshake, which would be from a completely different place. Um, and you know how tempted I was to parody Candy's milkshake brings all the feeders in the yard, but I refrained, sorry, or you're welcome. Okay, so I'm full. I'm <laughs> satisfied for now. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to probably eat a little bit more later, but right now I'm full enough to stop. Um, before I go, I did choose a primary care physician this past week. Yes, I did. I did not, however, make an appointment. I'm just not quite ready, but I will get there. I will get there. I got a lot of stuff happening the beginning of September, so. Uh, plus the anxiety is like, it's really bad, but I got a, I got a primary care physician. I need to call though, and like at least ask, because you know, a lot of the times when you wanna like do a, what do, you, what do they call it? Um, initial appointment or whatever. Sometimes they make you wait weeks, even months. So I'm gonna call Monday and see. So I guess she's talking about an initial intake appointment, which could take uh, a while to be seen. Um, but a, a commenter sort of called her out on, on this and let's hear what the back and forth exchange was. So this was pinned by Hungry Fat Chick. It took you one week to choose a PCP. It took me only 30 minutes tops to choose one for my very ill mother. Shake my head. I'm sorry, but I don't like to comment too much these days, seeing as I understand how rough life can get. But this is your damn life, girl. You are gambling with your life until one day it will be too late and you will wish you had done things faster instead of procrastinating because you are too lazy. You sure seem to like to, quote, wait till Mondays these days to make calls. And Candy replied, it must be nice that things like this come easy to you. 
all my life, I've had someone else to help me get through these types of decisions. Y'all don't seem to understand exactly how mentally ill I am. I'm 52 years old and this is the first time in my life I've been I've ever been in charge of myself. If not for Thomas taking me in, I would have been institutionalized for the last 20 years. Okay, so I have a few things to say about this. Uh, those of you who don't know the history, Thomas, aka Tommy, aka Hungry Hippie on YouTube, sort of got candy started with this um, mukbang career path that she's on. Um, unfortunately, he suffered a debilitating stroke in 2017 and passed away December 2023. So she is saying that all her life she has had someone sort of guide her through any big life decisions. However, Thomas, I don't think was in any position to help her with any decisions since 2017. So that means Candy really has been on her own since 2017. And it has been her choice to only make moves up until now. Now, she has tried and bailed before. We saw the whole keto thing um, a year ago where she did lose a significant amount of weight. It seems now she is sort of going the therapy route first, which I believe is a great idea. However, this time thing, girl, you can't, you can't. I know you, you don't want to be pushed into stuff. Um, baby steps, now's not the time for, for baby steps. Another thing is institutionalized. She said that she would have been institutionalized for the last 20 years. Well, institutionalized is not always a bad thing. Some people need to be in rehabilitation to get better. One example that I'm always going to go back to is Tammy Slayton. She was in rehab on the brink of death, but she got better. She was provided the tools, the therapy, all the help to get better. Me, when I broke my hips, I was in rehab. Did I think I would be there forever? Yes. <laughs> but... I also knew that was unrealistic and I would get better. Um, I don't agree with this commenter saying that Candy is lazy. No, it is um, definitely a matter of um, mental illness, not not laziness. And I don't I don't appreciate that stigma. But, uh, you know, I I looked at they have a what are they? they have a doctor finder thing on my insurance website. And I put in my location and all that and like what specializations I want and this oh god is she I think she's a nurse practitioner I was just okay with that because you know that's pretty much all I've had for the last few years anyway not the last few years but the last few doctors that I've had were nurse practitioners so I think that's what she what she is I was initially looking for like an intern internal medicine doctor uh, or family practice or general practice but um, anyway I did research on this woman doctor <laughs> physician and um, I liked all of like her background stuff so uh, she had like a lot of like specializations that kind of were in line with things that I'm you know experiencing and stuff so I was like okay you're it <laughs> and she wasn't the only one I looked at I looked at quite a few and like like googled and looked at their health health ratings and all that stuff so I picked her you know and we'll see you know so I'm gonna I'm gonna check and see how soon or how far away I can get like an appointment but okay so uh she has made teeny tiny steps and actually got herself a PCP um we know Candy you cannot make the appointment Monday because it is a holiday here in Canada in the U.S. Labor Day um I know it's your birthday coming up you are my Virgo sister from another mister Give yourself a gift, the present of actually making this appointment, getting the first available appointment and following through. Um, again, she is in therapy. She's mentioned therapy a few times, not in this video. So she is already on that route. Um, nurse practitioner, I applaud her for that. I prefer nurse practitioners. I find them um, very 
very good advocates for the patient. They are a great li liaison between the patient and the doctor. I also find them more down to earth, more humble than some doctors, not all doctors. Um, but I, I do find the rapport between a nurse practitioner and a patient um, better. And maybe someone who might need coddling or guidance like candy i think that's a good choice for her anyways guys if you made it this far i appreciate it thank you very much and enjoy your day